बात Welcome back viewers to our meditation special series on light of knowledge. In our previous episode, we discussed about different kinds of thoughts. And it was very interesting to know that we actually go through a lot of different kinds of thoughts throughout the day. Who would have guessed? Um we also found out that the thoughts can have a very positive impact on us or it can have a negative impact on us. We will go much deeper into this discussion today. And as always, we have with us in our studio today Dr. Donika to help us answer these questions. Welcome Dr. Donika to the show. Thank you. I'm Shanti. Dr. Donika, we would like to continue from our previous episode where we left off. Um in my readings, I came across this uh, very beautiful sentence which kind of touched me. It said that meditation is a journey within and it is not necessarily a withdrawal from life very true and uh, mm-hmm. this brings about uh, two aspects of meditation so if we could um, go into that today and if you could explain to us what this means sure as you said the first aspect the journey within now just as we are sitting over here we will have a few seconds journey within i would ask my all viewers to sit back and have a silent interrogation with ourselves let me withdraw my thoughts from the outer surroundings and go within i ask myself who am i What is my original identity? Is that the only name, age, gender, education, profession? Or is there anything more beyond it? Let me introspect. What's the original me? What's my original identity? Let me check my thoughts. Om Shanti. Yeah, that was very good, sister. That was very good. When we had that introspection, we felt that we were going within. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think most of our viewers were engaged with this task. I'm sure they were. When we go within, we actually ask, "Who am I?" Yes, and uh, this task we can have an example with it. Uh, if I have a pen with me right now, mm-hmm. and if I ask you, "What is it used for?" for writing yeah the viewers too will be with it now this pen i use for writing but you know we had in medical classes one small sub one small aspect that is dissection right. first year anatomy right so i will do one dissection with this i will just remove this one part okay and after that again it's the pen mm-hmm. yeah now if i say sister This is the pen and right. you said we use it for writing. Right. Can we use it for writing now? Now we cannot. Why? Because you've taken the refill out. Yeah, that's it. Now here we are. When we say who am I actually, then what we were today conscious with that is I am this body, that's my name, age, gender, my profession, my mm-hmm. education, that's this outer aspect. Okay. and now what we are going through this journey of meditation is something which is dynamic mm-hmm. which is making us work mm-hmm. as just the refill in the pen is making it work mm-hmm. yes it's the dynamic property or you can say the vital energy which is making this pen work oh yes yeah in the same way when i say that this is the body 
there must be some dynamic energy within this body which is making it work mm -hmm. yes this dynamic energy when it's present i can hear from you mm -hmm. i can talk with you i can work with, with my hands i can walk with my legs mm -hmm. only with the presence of that dynamic energy the vital force the spiritual force or vital energy we can say well i think with this explanation whatever thoughts i had about myself all that goes out the window cuz all these days you know i have been identifying myself with my job my name you know my position my family my friends my house my bank balance and the list goes on yeah so after you explained this to me i am kind of getting a feeling that i was focusing on the wrong thing uh, let me make one thing also at this point very clear because it may also maybe that the viewers may be also getting this question that spirituality was it what is it mm -hmm. so spirituality is very different from religion in whatsoever religion you are you can follow spirituality because spirituality is an elevated aspect of religion okay i think this is very important to all of us because um in overseas in um you know western countries or wherever um those countries are most likely a melting pot for the whole world <clears throat> they have um, all different cultures represented there so i think this aspect is very important to know that religion is different from spirituality and no matter what religion you belong to all of us can practice spirituality yeah sure and the unique thing about this institution of brahma kumari is, is that here the people of all the culture both the genders and all the age there is no perspective of caste no perspective of age anybody can follow this spirituality because it makes our life easy and we can practice the religion as we were what we were initially doing we can go through it okay i'm very curious to know more and more the more you talk i want to know more there is a vital energy which is making we work now the second aspect it may be called different in each religion it may be called with a different name let us term it as a soul okay yes so basically speaking as the pen we saw it's an outer aspect mm -hmm. and the refill in it is making it work in the same way the body is the outer aspect and the soul in it is making it work okay so would you um here it was easy to understand with the example because it's a pen and a refill that you took out yeah but when you say the soul within us um Is there any specific place it's where soul the soul resides? Within, within us, it's not the soul, but I, the soul itself, am actually. <laughs> I, the soul, I'm taking on this body. Yeah, I am the soul, and I, the soul, I'm working through this body. Okay, so um, is there a specific place where we have to look for when we are looking for the soul? Yeah, sure. Now the second thing which comes in our mind that in this body, where does the soul reside? Right. That's what you are asking right. for, right? So the soul has a particular location in this body as the refill has a particular location in the pen in the same way the soul has its residing point mm -hmm. and that residing point is right between the forehead or we when we coin it in medical terminology it's right between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland okay so that's the point where the soul resides mm -hmm. as we see the driver has to sit in the particular location when he has to drive the car right. so i the soul am seated in this location and i am driving this body i mean um it's kind of hard to imagine at this point yeah you know that i the soul am sitting here and i'm driving this body it's yeah. kind of difficult to understand at this, this point this thing we can't look or mm -hmm. we have never been taught of mm -hmm. since childhood we have been taught i am a boy i am a girl my name is this but this thing is totally a new aspect mm -hmm. and the second thing which comes then if i am a soul then how does the soul look like yeah absolutely that's the next question as it's metaphysical we can say we can't look this uh, we can't look at the soul with the bare eyes mm -hmm. it's very light and we can say it's a twinkling star but it's very tiny but we can't look with the eyes okay so you need a special vision for that or and that is the insight okay we need the insight means when we try to meditate we just have to visualize myself as a soul a point of light just we see the twinkling stars mm -hmm. in the sky they are a very huge they are of a huge size when 
now but when we are far away we see it tiny right so in the same way soul is very very tiny which we can't see from our eyes but we can have an insight and we can visualize ourselves well if i uh, close my eyes and like you said it's here and i try to focus my attention here um i'm not seeing anything you don't have to close your eyes you just have to sit back you can do it right now okay. if you want you viewers can also do it you can sit back and just gradually feel that i am a twinkling star a point of light right between the forehead i am the master and i make this body work I am the energy and I the soul as a energy give directions to my brain and my body to perform the various tasks let me visualize myself in a very relaxed manner i am a soul peaceful soul a light twinkling star okay can come back to normal I could definitely feel some tingling here when I yeah. focus myself between yeah. the eyebrows. Yeah, and slowly I said that with the regular practice gradually we can feel more and more you can say soul soul consciousness. It will also need a practice sister. And right now when we were focusing you said as, as you said you can realize it. But one more thing I would like to add that it's not necessary that we have to close the eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. in the brahma kumaris what we have meditation we can do it with open eyes also well that's very interesting to know cuz this is a completely different aspect again yeah. but what if if i really leave my eyes open and there will be a lot of distractions around because okay. uh you know there will be people around me and uh, even if i seclude myself to mm. a corner of my house um there will be some activity sister when we uh, sit for meditation even with the closed eyes you can say that even with closed eyes you can have a world tour or distractions that's very true and rather yeah. we see that when the eyes are closed our subconscious mind gets more aggravated it starts working more faster oh okay so the fact of keeping the eyes open we can have some reasonings for it first thing is that when we keep the eyes open we are conscious that we are over here and we have to do meditation mm mm-hmm. mhm is that sometimes when we meditate there are stages you see if you have heard the word eeg mm-hmm. electroencephalogram when we do the eeg of the brain mm-hmm. and uh, when we are with the open eyes what we are working we can see the beta waves on the eeg okay when we are at a drowsy stage mm-hmm. that is the alpha waves are generated on it mm-hmm. then slowly and gradually when you feel sleepy that is theta and the deep sleep factor is uh, delta stage okay so when you are with the open eyes we can say that we are consciously putting our mind that, that now i have to be in a stable position and if you are with the closed eyes what happens is we never know that when we will feel drowsy and we can even get sleepy also mm-hmm. so here meditation we have to reach through these stages till the delta stage but we have to see at the same time that we don't feel drowsy or sleepy okay so it has been scientifically proven yeah that uh, keeping your eyes open is more beneficial yeah sure because if you close your eyes you have a tendency to fall asleep yeah and another thing is the eyes they are the energy radiators mm-hmm. you see when we look at anybody we can catch the energy from him 
huh? is that if i am looking at you with a sparkling eyes with smiling you will get a very positive energy absolutely right? in the same way when we keep our eyes open we have the positive energy enriched in our eyes too oh that's very interesting to know i was not aware of that mm -hmm. um that's very interesting to know so it's good like if we keep the eyes open it needs a practice of course because we had been with the concept that we have to close the eyes but slowly you will find that it is becoming more easier mm -hmm. and rather we can do meditation as we saw in the first episode we can do all the work and we can do meditate so even with all your work with your eyes open you can do meditation okay that's uh, very good to know um i also want to touch upon the other aspect of uh, what i had said at the beginning of the show uh withdrawal yeah um most of the times the common impression um is that if you start meditating you're going to reach a certain stage where you're not going to be interested in your family or your friends it's almost like you're going to alienate yourself from the rest of the world and um this is a belief that is held by many so i would like to know if that is going to happen to me if i start <laughs> meditating no definitely it won't happen because here in brahma kumaris we see that all the people they live at their home rather with meditation they find that their relations become more easier and more smoother here we have 9 to 10 lakh people visiting all over the world 8500 local centers of brahma kumaris throughout approximately 140 countries and we see that these 9 to 10 lakh people from the families they come daily for half hour or whatsoever time they get at center do meditation have the uh, fulfillment in themselves and they go so here what feedback we have got from all the people is that their life has become enjoyable with their relations oh. because now what relationship they were having initially somewhere or other there was sadness in the relationship mm -hmm. but with meditation as they have developed the positive as attitude for the life now they are positive with their family and the families are also noting the difference and hence the relationship has become more smoother and more friendlier you can have your family life a very healthy family life and more interesting and loving family life even before what you had with meditation and you don't have to fear even that that uh, if after coming to meditation you will have to wear white dress or anything like that it's nothing like that it's only that we are dedicated in the institutions there are few number of people say few thousands we are 25000 dedicated sisters or brothers who give the dedication that's why we wear white but the persons who are living in their family they can enjoy their family life have their family relationship have their outgoings and along with it they can enjoy the journey with meditation that's right but white is so pure i mean that really gives an impression of purity yeah. yes we can enjoy our colors but white is also a very Good nice option. to wear yeah. yes i once again thank you for this very enlightening explanation about uh, the soul and you know the location of the soul and the important aspect of all of this that you don't have to withdraw from anything yeah. you know you can be with your family and plus continue to have a very good life so thank you once again thank you om shanti so friends we learned some important interesting new aspects today We found out that there is this energy within us which is called the soul and this energy runs the whole body. It's responsible for our vision, for our hearing and all the aspects of this body of the functioning of this body is governed by the soul. We also found out that we don't have to leave our family and that's good news that we don't have to leave our family to follow a spiritual path. we could have our colors we could you know follow whatever that we've been doing before but in spite of that we can have a very peaceful life we can have better relationships in fact and this is where the meditation and spirituality helps us so i hope these conversations are also helping you and helping you bring about a change in your personal life if you would like to let us know one way or the other we look forward to hearing from you So please write to us or email us and call us whatever it is that you have in our mind we'll try to get those questions answered thanks for watching us